Hey everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League, and I'm here with Cybsidian. We've got some breaking news about Cyberpunk 2077. So according to official exhibitor information posted by E3, CD Projekt Red has product in three categories, role-playing for PC slash Windows, role-playing for Sony PlayStation 4, and role-playing for Xbox One. Now, we're all very much aware of what this product is going to be. This lines up very well with information that we put out back on February 7th. I'll put the link to that live stream down in the description below. Yes. Now, these kinds of lists show the important information. They don't necessarily show all information, mm -hmm. but none of this info is wrong or speculative. This is information that the companies have provided to the organizers of the event to make sure that people know what they're getting at the very least. Now, does this mean that CDPR is going to be on the main stages for the press conferences for these companies, for like the Xbox press conference, the Sony press conference? Good question. We had uh, I had a couple of people ask me this earlier today before we sat down to record this. Does this mean that they're going to be at the showcases? Is this a confirmation that they're going to be at the Sony one, that they're going to be on the Xbox one? Yes, we are definitely going to see CD Projekt Red at least showing up with the trailer onto those different platforms. And this we can kind of piece together from what we've heard, how uh, Sony is working closely with CD Projekt Red and how they're working with Microsoft. Big companies like Sony and, and Microsoft want to advertise games that will sell a lot of units on their consoles because they want people to buy that game for that console. Excellent, so to sum up, Expect to see CD Projekt Red bringing Cyberpunk 2077 on more than one of the main stages at the press conferences at E3. And we have even more information for you today. And thank you so much to our Discord community for constantly bringing these types of things to our attention. We have some information about some job offerings that are happening at CD Projekt Red. Specifically, there's a job offering for a network programmer at both the Vraklov Studio and the Warsaw Studio. And... This is what we have here. The CD Projekt Red is looking for an experienced network programmer to support our core engine team. The person on this position will be responsible for designing and implementing the network layer of the Red engine, as well as leading our studio through the necessary steps to adapt to the new tasks and different way of thinking. Daily responsibilities in a nutshell listed here, designing and implementing the network layer of the Red engine, helping in design and implementation of multiplayer changes to existing systems, and participating in shaping the future of the Red engine. Now. We've been reporting for a long time that CD Projekt Red is going to be including some sort of multiplayer component, and uh, now this basically confirms it. So if they're bringing in a, a position that, that works on improving the multiplayer and, and helping it function correctly, yes, multiplayer is still a core part of, of what they're working on. They're going to deliver us that wonderful single player experience but that multiplayer functionality in the game is going to help that game have longer retention, going to have more replayability, going to have the ability to play with your friends. Uh, I mean, that means a lot to a lot of gamers. And that means a lot more gamers are going to be thinking about buying it because they can play with their friends. Just that single addition really makes that game shine. So what we see here is we see that they're bringing in people to help work on multiplayer within the system of the game and in, in the engine itself. Excellent. Very exciting stuff. We are super hyped for E3 this year, more so than I think we have been in years. It's going to be very exciting to see what CD Projekt Red brings and getting that first look at Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, we are going to be live casting most of the major press conferences with the exception of Nintendo. So like and sub to be able to catch that and uh, to watch with us, chat with us as, as we do live commentary over the major events that take place over the E3 event. Also, we encourage you to join our Discord server. Link in the description below. There's always tons of great conversation happening there about Cyberpunk 2077 and a bunch of other things as well. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to like and sub and hit that notification bell, and we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and sub. Write your most profound thoughts in the comments down below, and then check out some of these other videos. What did it rain? Find the link to our Discord server and other important stuff in the description below.